Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, for those of you who may have missed the last episode, uh, we did go off and we did collect a few blocks here and there to go ahead and create a new bot. And this is my my truck, my dump truck, as uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and call it. It's not exactly the best one, and it is a lot bigger than the small ones that I've been talking about. But this is going to allow us to go off and collect resources and still maintain that small level. I think it's more medium, to be honest, than anything else. It's actually on the verge of medium large, I think uh, would probably be the case. Not extra large or extremely large like the stuff I normally do, but uh, definitely a little bit bigger than what I would prefer for the small bot. But I need the extra space to uh, go off and harvest stuff. And I need the armament because while I was building this bot, five mobs decided to attack my base, even though I wasn't even moving. So uh, they are super aggressive. There are tons and tons of enemy bases around here all over the place and I went off looking around just a little bit and I got attacked even more with my other guys so this guy needs to be able to protect himself and you can see right here around him he has weapons all the way around he also has these little drills here in the front I'm hoping those work out for him I'm not quite sure on that one he has the stud lasers so he can fire in pretty much every direction he also has these uh, AKs on the top which will fire off for him as well and then in the back, he has all these shields and, uh, you know, batteries and repair bubbles, uh, giving the protection to the bot that he needs. But the main part is these tractor pads right here. I'm hoping that it's low enough to the ground because it is three up. But I'm hoping that it's low enough to the ground to be able to pick up resources. We're going to find out here pretty soon. And also on the bottom, I went ahead and used the normal, um, you know, hub wheels. But I also put some of these tractor pads, not tractor pads, these hover pads down here underneath it to give it that little bit of extra weight reduction, as well as throw on some regular wheels here on the side, these dirt wheels onto the side of the hub wheels to just give it that extra, you know, weight distribution as well. And it still seems to move like a pig because it is very much heavy and very tall. And it's going to get even heavier as we pick up more and more resources. And that, that weight is going to increase. Now, I did throw some little pads down out here. And I was going to actually go off and harvest some of those green uh, erudite crystals. However, well, like I said, when I went out to go looking, I saw tons and tons of enemies out here. And I didn't want to get into a whole bunch of fights off camera. Nor did I want to spend, uh, you know, too many more episodes in a row just killing enemies for the resources. Like, I enjoy that part. But I know that some of you are like, well, okay, we've seen that. Let's let's look at something else. So let's build something that's kind of cool. And I think this is actually uh, fairly decent. It does need to be expanded a little bit more, I think, to make it uh, where it needs to, to be the point where it's going to be really, really good. But like I said, I was before, I'm not trying to go super large. So trying to rein that in on my own natural instincts of just going bigger and bigger and bigger to create like this, this amazing bot is something that I, I am constantly struggling to do. Because this game really lends itself to uh, going as big as you want, you know, like you really get to do that and you can take full advantage of doing that. And it's usually worth it for you in the long run to do something like that. Uh, you know what, we're going to have to go a little closer and let those drills get it uh, if it will work. Actually, I don't know if the drills are, are working anymore. There we go. Uh, I guess maybe the drills only go for so long before they shut off or, or something along those lines. But yeah, definitely wasn't... Uh, really pulling in those resources like I thought they were when you just jam right into it like that. I know it's doing it. Maybe it just it's lost the momentum. Maybe I just uh, need to hold down the key a little bit more. It does seem like it takes a little while, but this is the safest method. You will not lose any resources when doing that. There's some orange crystal over here. I don't think I'm familiar with the orange crystal. That could be something new that they added into the game uh, within the last couple patches that I've just never really seen. Or it could just be something that, uh, you know, on the maps that I play on. Ooh, okay, so yeah, we have seen that. Uh, it did definitely give me a little notification about that stuff, though. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, it could be something that they add in from time to time that you're just not aware of. Or some of the maps definitely have more resources of one versus others, depending on where you start on the map. So I've seen resources on maps that were just so plentiful you could not really uh, throw a rock without running into something. And then I've seen maps where you'll drive around for hours and hours and hours and see almost absolutely no resources whatsoever to speak of anywhere. And those are really, really horrible maps if you like building stuff. Uh, Wills is overloaded. Yeah, well, 
not much we can do about that. I mean, other than putting some boosters on here, but we don't have any extra boosters to spare. We only had that one that we found, and we don't really have any money at the moment. The money is definitely going to be coming now that we're upgrading and we're getting some of these, these pieces. As we start making stuff with them, we're going to be able to make a little bit of money off of those things, especially if we sell them. Uh, but mainly the purpose behind doing this at the point that we're doing it is so we can uncover and unlock some new pieces that we don't have access to. So instead of going around like we have in the past where you just drive off and see if you can discover some of those locations that have resources uh, or items that you've never seen before, because that is definitely a viable option. You can come in here and you can make stuff yourself out of the resources you find. And depending on the fabricator you have, you can make some pretty advanced stuff. Now, we only have a... Uh, oh, man. Seriously? Oh, jeez. This, this is not going to be good. Because I put those things a little bit too low. Yep. That's just going to keep getting stuck right there. Can we back it up? Maybe. If it has enough... Nope, we just don't have the boosters for it, and this right here is hanging us up. So we're going to have to take these off, I guess, and uh, and see if maybe we can go forward. Yeah, we can go forward now. So not a good idea to have those on there, apparently, man. Dang it. They were doing well, though. They were they were definitely drilling into the blocks like we wanted to. Oh, man, another big guy. Jeez. Yeah, the bots will get bigger and bigger as you get bigger, so... You know, uh, you got to keep that in mind. You're going to create these massive bots, and then you're going to start finding even more massive bots out on the battlefield. And uh, we're not ready for that because all the stuff that I've created is made for small bots. And these guys are going to spawn out here because I'm using this guy, and we're going to run into some issues with that. So hopefully not too many, but we can come back over here every so often and charge back up pretty quickly. You can see right here, we're not going to get too close to that because I don't want it to store the... The resources but this one we can definitely get some resources on and they actually transfer because they're close enough to one another they actually transfer energy from one to the other so if one's getting low because you're stealing all of its energy you can definitely use that to your advantage uh, let's go ahead and drop these things off if we can get close enough uh, actually it's not dropping off I wonder why hmm well if we take it down that definitely will do it Take it down. Come on. Pass it down. Oh, you know what? Forgot to turn it so that it will start doing that. So it's going to go down. Maybe that's why it wasn't pulling it off. Although it should have put it onto the receiver if it was going to do it at all, but it definitely didn't. Uh, we'll put that back on. It's going to snag one of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's taking them off now, one by one. All right, let's watch it and see which way it goes. See what it's doing there. Okay, so it didn't refine these two but it doesn't have to be refined to make a block apparently so we got a light out of that so let's go ahead and throw that down we got a block out of that it's going to go ahead and use two of these pieces of unrefined to make something what's we'll okay so it's going to make a radar unit and then it made a battery a green and a silver unrefined made something let's see uh this needs to be moved down a little bit i guess and allowed more things to get on there to be refined mm, okay so it's making stuff still let's keep putting that on there it's still making stuff over here and now the whole thing is kind of uh yeah kind of overloaded it doesn't have any space to keep making stuff so if we take this off can we take those off i guess once they're on there they're on there huh not able to be moved huh well that sucks do we have any more conveyor belts? Because I really could use some more conveyor belts to get this operation working as smoothly as I want it to. Yes, we do. We have plenty of conveyor belts. Okay, so let's turn these around if we can. Dang it. All right, well, there's too much junk over here. Let's see. Come on, put it on right, guys. Ah, unbelievable. Stop, stop squirreling in when I put you guys down. I hate that. Absolutely hate that. Unbelievable. Why are you putting it in sideways like that? That is not natural. Upside down? Yeah, that's, that's how we want it. Upside down. Come on, there we go. Nope, that's still not right. Oh, unbelievable. Guys, you're just trolling me today. Just trolling me. All right, we're putting that down. All right, come on, put it on right. Stop zooming out. Stupid thing. There we go. Finally. Now, now, now we got it. Or maybe not. Now we're going to go right back to default. Ugh, this new system of 
whatever they put into place is just absolutely abysmal. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, in case you guys don't know how I feel, I absolutely hate it. Uh, <laughs> I want them to go back to the original. Please, please go back to the original. Ugh. All right, come on, put it in. We need to uh, remove one of those those little pads right there. There we go, and we'll put that back in a second. Actually, we'll leave it there, and we'll just put this down. That way, it can pull off from more than one little area at a time. Nice, nice. That is actually fantastic. All right, so we're gonna change the direction these things are going, and let's change the direction this is going. So they all start heading back the other way and they're going to be able to be refined a little bit but one of the things we need to keep in mind is that this needs to be moved off to the side real quick because this over here is actually making refined resources and those refined resources need to be able to get back to the main unit and for some reason it's only letting me put down one now instead of multiples like it was a second ago which is kind of annoying Actually, let's do it right there. Move that off to the side. I need to bring that other thing over here real quick. Just to clear up all this junk that's laying on the ground. Alright, so that is the way that is going to be going. This one also needs one. So it can connect all the way across. Let's move this over here. Right there. And we are going to move... Nope, we want to click that off. We are going to move this unit on this side so it can do the exact same thing. But it needs to be lined up like the other one is so that the pieces will enter. Or we can just zoom in like that. Uh, they, they need to be lined up so it would... Oh, come on. Seriously, there we go. That's how we want it. So the pieces are going to enter one side and exit refined on another side. Uh, let's see, how's this working? These need to be changed. There we go. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's not what we want. Alright, so this needs to be removed. Oh, okay. Not, not gonna work on that one. Let's see, what if we... What if we put this here? And then remove that one? And it didn't give me the undo button. So, that sucked. That sucked badly. Ah, oh, jeez. This thing is just not cooperating. So guess what? I am going to leave it alone. And we're going to go pick up the little thing so we can snag all of these pieces and rebuild from scratch, apparently. That's going to be a thing. That is absolutely nasty. Ugh. Undo button. Where are you at? Just because I did you twice doesn't mean you get to, to, get to go away for some reason. Why you, uh, why you wanted to collapse in the first place is still beyond me, but okay. That's, uh, that's the way you're going to roll, I guess. Get rid of all of this stuff, and we'll have to start all over. It sucks so bad, guys. It sucks so bad. All right, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. What are you waiting for? There we go. Yes, pull it in. Pull it in, guys. A little bit, a little bit. There we go. Nice, finally. Just took a little while. All right, let's pick up all these other resources, get those out of the way real quick, if we can. Yep. All right, everything is out of the way. So, now we are going to do this better than we did last time. We're going to do this in a way that is a lot more useful to us. So, let's go this way a little bit. Mm, you know what? We are going to do this right if we can. Okay, so, what we need are our refineries. So, let's go ahead and put a couple of those down real quick. Uh, actually, we have f six of those. The more of these we have, the faster it's going to go. So, let's see. Can we get this turned the right way? Yes, we can. All right. So, these are all going down right here. Six of them. If it will let us. Nope. That's not where we want it. That upside down and underneath? No, that, that's not going to work. And it's still upside down now, okay? Well, guess what? You're going back in. Let's see, hopefully, yep, that's still right, and that's still right. Okay, that works. Now, all we need to do is uh, connect over here on this side, right there. That's going to work. 
and I'll connect the pieces here in the center in a second. I just want to make sure that these are connected. There we go. And so these things will have to come down the list, down the row. And once they get to the end of the row, they're just going to sit there. They have nowhere else to go. So it's not like they can go bypass it and everything else. So this is, uh, this is how we want to do it. Now we're going to keep going down this direction. I'm going to do a square just so it doesn't take up a massive amount of space. And it's easy for me to protect it in this sense. And it's going to go back in a circle. So that's going to work out for us. Let's see. We want to move this down here so that it can start taking the refined resources and making stuff out of it. I'm going to put down a few of them so that we can get that going as a uh, kind of a quick process as well. Mm, that's not where I wanted it, but camera angle is what it is because they still refuse to do uh, to change that back. And I hope they do. I really, really do. Uh, come on. Come on, you guys can do it. You know you can. Eh, all right. Well, you're going to be difficult. You're going to be really difficult, apparently. Oh, man. Come on, put it in there. Seriously, I mean, how much closer can I get to an object I'm not even looking at? Oh, jeez. All right, let's, let's head on over. See if we can get a little closer since we're going to be zoomed in to the max, apparently. So I can get this thing lined up the way I want it to line up. Ugh. Net. Uh, but you know what? It's crazy because you may be looking at it just like, oh, just use the keyboard. Well, I shouldn't have to, right? Because it, it worked so well for the first, like, I don't know, eight months this game was out. It it uh, They had it set up one way, and then they changed it one day, and it doesn't work nearly as well as it used to. So that just seems like, why don't you go back to the way it was? You know, like, it, you shouldn't have to press another key when the the mouse will do and when you when you're used to it and you've been doing it for you know six or seven months then you change it then you know i still i think i still have a right to uh, be a little bit of you know inconvenienced and a little bit uh perturbed with that and not just uh accept it and be like that's the way it is although you know like i said they're not changing that back anytime soon if ever from what i've read online and what other people have told me so at some point, I probably will just accept it, but that's still a little bit of ways, uh, especially in situations like this. Come on, you can do it. You can get in there. Uh, is that right? I don't think that's right. I think that's upside down. Come on, one more. Just get it in there. Come on, you can do it. Right there? Yeah, that's it. Oh, right, that's, that's fantastic. That's exactly what I'm looking for. However... Keep in mind that the finished product is going to be on the inside and the outside over here. Uh, in fact, if I pick up a little block, you guys can see it. Let me grab one of these so you can see where I'm talking about. Right here is where the finished product is going to be, and right over here is where the finished product is going to be when it makes something. So if you want those to instantly be able to be sold, you're going to need to put another conveyor belt here and another conveyor belt on this side and eventually connect the two to a conveyor belt here in the center and have those go to those little things that sell the resources for you. So we're not really doing that. We're not uh, trying to, to sell the finished products just yet. I would prefer to hang on to most of them. But we definitely want that ability down the road, which is, you know, something you need to be aware of when you're setting all this up. So let's go ahead and put these things down over here so we can get as many of them in there as possible a little quicker. We're going to move this little device here in a second, and I'm going to put some more batteries back down, too, because the batteries we did have attached uh, got removed. So they're definitely, uh, you know, not able to charge us up like normal. Let's put these there, and we're going to put a wireless charger on it as well, a couple of them. And then, of course, throw down uh, one and two of these just so they can charge up while we're gone. And let's go ahead and remove this. We'll put that there for now. And then we can get a little closer. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Get a little closer. All right, got that last one off of that. And you can see it's making stuff over there. If we can get out of here. Come on. What are you doing? Let's move this over there. We'll go ahead and attach that to that for now. Actually, I want it to attach to the ground so we don't even have to move it later on. We can just use it. Let's see. What are you making? Okay, so you're making regular blocks. I guess that's okay. Nothing, uh, nothing fantastic. We're going to let these things go through one at a time and line themselves up with any pieces that they may need. Some of them are doing something. Some of them are not. 
All right, let's go ahead and snag that, put that block on there. We'll do the same thing with this block. Uh, what's it going to make with the silver? Oh, nice. It's making another uh, conveyor belt. That's still something we can definitely use. Now, you did see that some of these items were actually used in their natural state, while other ones are not. And we're going to need a uh, another few. How did these get made and put back over here? Huh. I don't know that one, actually. That that shouldn't be the case. They should not have have somehow made their way back over here. Hmm. Let's move these and this one. We'll put that back over here on the little line. And now you can see there's going to be refined as well as unrefined versions of themselves making their way down here. And that's good because, like I said, some of the unrefined versions is what you need. Oh, okay, so what's that going to make right there? Oh, nice. This is what we want for some of those, uh, those little stations we have out there. So we'll definitely keep an eye out for some more of that orange rock. Orange and green are some of the ones that we want. So let's go ahead and come over here. And we'll use this little device right here, which is the uh, GSO Gruntle. Is it Gruntle? Yeah, Gruntle Guard AI. So let's go ahead and snag that. Now that should fight back anytime there's any enemies within the general vicinity of the area. And, of course, if we have weapons on that. And we do have weapons on it. Not, not a whole lot. We didn't really have a whole lot to uh, to go around at the time when we first made that that one. Although now I think we have a fair bit of them, right? Yeah, I mean, nothing fantastic. We do need to spend another hour or so going off and just collecting resources. That, for me, or not just resources, but blocks, that for me is one of the most enjoyable parts of this game is, is going off. Because every time I destroy an enemy, the way I look at it is it's a pinata. You don't know what's going to be inside, but whatever it is, is going to be something good. And even if it's just regular blocks, which you've already seen a hundred times before, it just being able to, you know, get more of them is going to allow you to create something you may not have created in the past. So that to me is a joy. Like I get a lot of enjoyment out of just uh, seeing the unknown or having a chance at the unknown because, you know, you're not always going to get the greatest blocks in the world. But that one time out of 100 that you get it and you're like, wow, what is this? I've never seen this block before. You know, like, what does that do, right? Like, that makes it all worthwhile for all those times where you didn't get anything at all. So, I don't know. I, I just find, uh, you know, this game has a lot of aspects to it that some people, you know, kind of bypass because you can get hooked on, like, one aspect and kind of negate all the other pieces that this game really, uh, you know. I mean, I've done the same thing. There's been entire playthroughs where I don't build anything uh, out of uh, pieces that I make myself. Like, I literally, oh, jeez, this stuff is right here on the front. That's why I can't move. It's it's stuck on the front, and it's pushing back at me. All right, there you goes, go. Let me back it up. I need the little uh, beeping noise, guys. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, like, you're so, uh, so huge. You got to have that little noise to let people know because you can't see anything behind you. Uh, they should put that in the game. At some point, like naturally, just when you get to a certain size, have it where your bot starts making that noise. Or have it where you can get a piece off of like the Geocore. Because the Geocore are huge. And if anybody's going to have those pieces, you know, that make that noise, it should be the Geocore. For sure. I, I That's like hands down in my opinion. But some of you guys out there may have a different opinion on that one. Uh, you know, the, the fast ones definitely could use a noise themselves as well. Maybe something along the lines of like a NASCAR you know, streaming down the road or something like that, you know, have that that kind of uh, impact to it because it's so freaking fast, you know, you're going to want that extra, I don't want any of this wood, though. We're going to take this wood down in a second, get rid of all that. Actually, you know, a good way to get rid of the wood would be to throw on a, a generator in here. Actually, let me see, I think I have an extra generator in here that I might be able to use, yeah. Let's see if we put that there. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So it's going to pick up the wood and use it to create more energy for us so we don't have to go back as often. And it's also going to get rid of the wood so I don't have to sit there and nitpick and, and get rid of each and every single one of them that happens to uh, find its way on there. Let's go ahead and snag some of these lights just for uh, for fun, although it's on the front of my butt, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so there's one there, and I bet the other one's like underneath my butt right now. But either way, we'll work it out. Now, let's see. We do need to find some of the green crystals. 
so we can make some of those. But I'm trying to get a little mix of everything. We got some blue, we got some red, we got some black. We need to find some silver. We found a few pieces of silver. Silver is the most basic. You're going to use that in 99% of the recipes that I've seen. It seems to be, uh, you know, at least in some way used in almost all the recipes out there. Oh, it's going to use the red stuff too, isn't it? That's not what I wanted to do. And you guys can't pick up anything more? I guess not. Let's uh, let's put this here. Let's move this red one. If we can't, nope, it's already being eaten, so it won't actually let me take it out. Let's move this over to the side. I think it was bug there for a second. Dang it. That's not what we want to do. Stop doing this stuff. Put it on, put it on. There we go. All right, so we got a few places left that we can put on a few other pieces. Actually, let me move that. We'll put that over here. I guess we're going to have to do it manually. I was hoping that we wouldn't have to, but I guess uh, that's not going to be the case, guys. Not going to be the case. Let's see if we can find some green before we head back. Let's actually move this down. This is not on the bottom like it's supposed to. Let's put this over here and one more. Nope, didn't quite get it. Come on, let me get one. There we go. But yeah, I, I definitely do want a filter that will let you filter out different types of resources. They have a filter that will let you take out different types of items. So if you want to filter resources, all resources, or if you want to filter out uh, you know, items, you can do that. But it doesn't let you pick between the two. You know, like you can't say, I want certain resources to go through here while other ones don't. And I think that would add a, a certain amount of uh, automation into the system so that you can make certain items. Like you could set up entire areas on your base that literally do nothing other than to build AI modules. You know, like that's going to be a cool little technique for somebody who wants to build, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 AI modules because he's having happens to be doing a certain type of... Uh, you know, expansion, like if you're building a whole bunch of those little towers, you're going to need a whole bunch of those little things. And if you don't want to pay for them, you want to make them yourself, then, uh, you know, doing something like that would be worth it for you. And then having the ability to change it at will very quickly without having to redesign a huge portion of your base to get that to be made in the way you want it to be made. And there's really no way to guarantee it's going to make a certain item unless you could do the, the filter. Because if you put you know, two different types of items on there. And that's just with the two-step uh, or the two-fabricator. Uh, you put two different types of items on there. Sometimes the same type of item makes an item itself. So it's not always going to be one, then the other, one, then the other. Sometimes it's going to be the same item twice, and you're going to make an item out of that. And you're not going to be able to, you know, guarantee the items you want are being made unless you can filter it and then have, like, an entire row of one type and another entire row of another type and connect them into another row in the center that is going to allow you to have one and then the other, one and then the other, because you set it up that way. And that's something you definitely could do. It wouldn't be easy. It wouldn't be uh, something that you know anybody could just do, but it definitely be an option that you could try at the very least. Uh, what are you doing back there, little dude? I guess you uh, you want to come over here and troll me a little bit, and you're gonna take one of my wheels off apparently, because you're a little butthead. All right, let's let's go over here and get some some charging up. Oh no, you're dead. Nice and and I get the venture G boy spoiler. Yes, that is what I've been wanting to uh, to get for a little while. So when we make another one of our little small bots, that's going to be incredibly small, actually, guys. I think I'm gonna go with three three long on that one. To be honest, uh, is what I'm thinking about doing at the moment. And that spoiler is gonna go on the top. Is it a little bit of overkill for? For something that small, yes, definitely. But, you know, what's a little bit of fun without, you know, going a little bit overboard on giving your guy just that much more speed than he absolutely has to have? You know, like, I want to go a little bit overboard on that one just to see what would happen. All right, there we go. Nice. Look at all those resources just getting piled on there. And it's going to go down the list. It's going to go down the row. And you're going to see some of them are going to be turned into resources that are more refined. While other ones are still going to make it past because there's just so many coming down here. I don't think it's going to be able to keep up with it. Which is going to give me a nice mix of both of them when it finally gets over here. And I'm going to actually have to remove some of these. Because these things aren't being made into something right now. So let's remove that. That's going to be made into something. What do we got going on? Ooh, nice. Look at that. That is definitely something we can use. That will sell the items for us. We're getting a few more of these. We're definitely going to be using those. We got a drill. 
Nope, let's put that back. We got a drill right here. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and toss that on the ground. It's going to be made into, uh, or put into that little area that we want. Mm, three pound cannon. That's cool. Got a couple more blocks. Yes, let's go ahead and grab those. Some drills. I don't really like these long drills, to be honest. They seem to get in the way a little bit more often than you would prefer, but uh, it's not too bad. Let's see. We got this. Anything new? Well, we got a new one of these. So let's put that there. We also did get a fuel, so let's uh, let's stick that over there for now. We might use that here. But we sure are making a lot of these things. Uh, we got another one of these. These are worth a fair bit of money, so if you're trying to sell them and make some cash off of them, that is definitely a viable option right there. Hmm. These things are no longer making anything. I guess it's all the fuels. Like, you can't really make anything out of fuels, I think, so maybe that's what's hanging it up. These things will then apparently come down uh, after this clears up a little bit, but it's not. It's not clearing up yet, so let's... Hmm. I guess we're going to sell some of this stuff. Let's see how much they're worth as they go down one by one. They should be worth quite a bit because they did get refined, and, you know, the red stuff is not... Uh, completely and totally, uh, you know, oh, 400 a piece? Holy crap. That is some good cash right there, guys. That is crazy. What about that? 12. Yeah, because that's from the wood. The wood sap right there. So that's completely and totally worthless stuff. Uh, this one's going to get through not refined. So it's 200 not refined and 400 when it's finally refined. So definitely worth it in your situation if you're trying to get rid of that. Uh, is to refine it. It's going to be worth more for you. You're going to get the ability to build more in the end. But guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Again, I do want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy these episodes, definitely hit that like button, subscribe. And as always, I'm AC Gamer, and I will catch you next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.